welcome to the 12 days of CHCA. My name is Chef Frank Tony Guzzo, and today I'm gonna to make a very simple but very tasty mushroom and goat cheese strudel. Here I've got a lovely portabella, this nice big one here. Uh, just some regular mushrooms and some cremini mushrooms. I have some uh, red pepper that I sliced very thin and I have some lovely shallot here. All right, these are in the onion family. They, they are nicer than onions. I have some uh, herbs here that I'm gonna use today. This is basil and parsley that I just chopped up. I'm also gonna put some goat cheese in. Now, this is a lovely recipe if you don't wanna put any cheese in at all. I'm also gonna make a little sauce for it, something very basic. Sour cream, you can use yogurt, and just some chopped fresh dill. Do this up ahead of time so that the dill flavor does bleed into the sour cream so we have that now the other thing we need is phyllo pastry this is found in your frozen section of the grocery store best to buy it a day or two before and let it defrost in the fridge what we do is we first cut up all these mushrooms i just have them all ready like that here now what we're going to do first is just lightly cook the shallots and the red pepper when those look soft we're gonna add the mushrooms and we're gonna let the juices come out of the mushrooms. You reduce it down, you still want it moist, but you don't want this to be too wet because obviously we're putting it in a, a pastry. So after that, take it off of the stove. You don't need any more heat. Put in your herbs. The reason I like to put in my basil and my parsley now after I cook it is, it gives it that really nice freshness. And then gently fold in the goat cheese. You'll see that it melts lovely. You don't need any more heat for this. And what you get is a nice creamy product. Taste it for salt and pepper after you put in the goat cheese. So let's open up the phyllo. I'm just gonna move my cutting board to the side and I'm gonna do it on a piece of parchment paper. Now, when you unroll your phyllo pastry. Again, it's very, very thin. It's like a sheet of tissue paper. It's not that you have to work very, very quickly, but you are a bit time sensitive with this. All right, so I'm just gonna put that to the side and a good uh, rule of thumb is cover it up with just a paper towel because the air will dry it up. There's very little fat in the pastry dough, so it air dries very quickly. So what I'm gonna do is put four layers down but between each layer I'm going to brush it with uh, butter and what that does is give you a really nice flaky pastry. Let's take one piece there. You'll see what with this pastry you can make so many lovely things with it and again just give it a very light brush of butter so just like that make sure you cover all of it and then put another layer down just like that and again brush it I, I could use vegetable oil in this but again butter is nice and savory so this is my third layer okay so this is my fourth one and again just a light brush so there we go now this is what we want to do. We want to make almost like a little log here. So you take some of your filling, okay, about two inches away from the edge. Okay, and it's up to you how thick or thin. Usually these are one or two bite affairs, so you don't want to make them too big where a person needs a fork and knife. Just something that you pick up with your hand and pop it into your mouth. And that should be good now. Just gently, and again, th this pastry is so easy to work with now that it's stabilized. It's just fold it over onto itself like this, tuck in the end, and just like that. And then with either a pizza cutter or a small knife, just cut down there and separate it. Now, if, if I had more mushroom mixture, Okay, I'm just shaping it a bit. I would just start here again, roll it. You'll get about three logs out of this. Now, I'm just gonna trim off the end here. And again, it's up to you how big you cut them. I like to use a bread knife simply because if you use a regular chef knife or, or even a paring knife, it tends to crush it, okay? Because it is very delicate. Before you put it on a tray, 
Brush it with just a touch of butter on top. This attracts the heat, and again, this will make it nice and flaky. These go into the oven 400 degrees for about 20 minutes, and this is what they look like. You see that these are nice and crispy. Serve it with a little side of yogurt or sour cream dill uh, sauce, and you'll see that people will just love these. From my family to your family, happy holidays, and uh, thank you for being with me on the 12 Days of CHCA.